There was a lot of music playing in the black background, so I had to skip the installation process, but it's very, very easy, the installation. It was, I think I go over it in the video, it was four 10 millimeter hold on bolts and it was a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the AC lines to the back of the AC compressor. Anyway, here's the video for what it's worth. I know you guys like the OBSs. I couldn't, I've got it in a vacuum right now. I couldn't really get too much of uh, the installation, which is pretty clean cut and dry either way. It's four 10 mils. I went over and got them, see how they're nice and clean all the way through. I went and got them cleaned up in the bench grinder, the, the wire wheel, and then I bolted everything down on the back, bolted the front down, made sure connectors and everything and seals were clean, put the belt and everything back on it. Um, just evacuating everything right now to make sure it holds vacuum. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna let the guy know if he wants me to reseal the front cover of this engine. I'd be more than willing to do it. Maybe that's something in the future budget. Um, just water pump timing cover kind of thing. Reseal all that if he plans on keeping this and see where he wants to go with it. All right, so far so good. It held vacuum, it didn't leak down. I'm gonna put, let's see here. Two pounds, six ounces. So 32, 38 ounces. All right, we're finishing up here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the lines here when it's done and go ahead and fire it up and see how it runs. Well, we got some good system pressures. The high side's fluttering just a tad bit, but it's starting to equalize and stop fluttering so much the more it runs. Probably trying to get some of that oil in the compressor moved throughout the system so it could actually stabilize. There it is. It's almost not moving at all. Let's see what kind of AC we got inside there. Oh yeah, she's ice cold, baby. Ice cold. I'm gonna see if he wants to come in in the future and do a uh, front cover reseal. Well, we're gonna go drive it. Let's go drive the old girl. Well, the old girl's running pretty dang good, I have to say. Battery charge light's on. I checked for loose connection. It wasn't a loose connection deal. Something that definitely needs to be looked into, but it's charging. That's the thing. It's uh, these old trucks, the light would pop on, but it would be charging completely fine. It was just an annoying light. So, with that being said, I have to leave that in the customer's hand. Do you want us to look into it further? Uh, looks like a newer alternator in it. Looks like somebody might have been already chasing this problem. And it's weird because you shut it off for a while, come back out like an hour or two later, start it up, no charge light, no nothing. As soon as you hit the headlights or turn on the AC or something like that and load up the system just a little bit, charge light pops back on. So, it could be that the alternator's defective it could be that there's something wrong with the wiring i know they do have updated pigtails for these old f series and these types of uh charging systems that's on here i think i seen one on rock auto it was like 36 bucks and it was an updated pigtail um, i know a lot of guys went to a higher output alternator as well and that seemed to fix their problem and yeah other than that she seems to be running perfectly fine transmission shifts just a little hard at times um but this i think this is a project truck for this guy i don't think this is a permanent like daily so we'll see we'll see what the customer wants to do the front diff is howling like crazy you can just hear it going down the road it's not a little bit from the the hub bearings axle bearings if you will not too much there it's more right from the center of the vehicle front diff type sound more of a growl when you let off you're coming down it's got like a like a bearing sound like it's got a bunch of flat spots or something in the bearing so uh pinion bearing whatever it may be i, I don't know i'd have to get into it 
but overall the customer's concerns are fixed the door is back together and put together better than the way it was before uh, everything's looped up and greased properly everything functions properly the door lock everything works and the uh, sound coming from the pulleys was the AC clutch collapsing falling on its face ate up a bunch of material and stuff like that so now he's got a new AC compressor fresh charge AC ice cold AC and we'll just leave it in leave it up to him now to see how much he wants to do and if he just wants to do a little bit at a, at a time or where he wants to go with it but other than that we're done y'all be blessed